it's Crystal Walker with Ask A Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about 10 of the top elementary schools in Fairfax County. Now, before we get started, just a quick disclaimer, this is not a top 10 rating of elementary schools in Fairfax County. It's actually just 10 of the top rated schools. And the reason it's not a top 10 list is because through my research, I found you know various lists already out there that has schools rated you know one through 10. This is actually just a, a list that consists of schools that I saw repeatedly come up on other lists because and the reason I chose to do it this way is because different lists use different methodology and criteria to determine a list so what I came up with was a list of 10 top performing schools each with high test scores um, in good high school pyramids um, and that tend to perform well looking at various criteria and so that's what we're going to cover in today's video a quick note as I said since they're not going to be schools 1 through 10 um, this list is just an alphabetical order there are a couple of things that I found in each of these schools like I said they had high test scores um, each of them has either a parent-teacher organization or a parent-teacher association providing fee-based enrichment programs and all 10 schools also offered the SAC or school age child care program for both before and after care. And then one last note, each of these 10 schools is in a top 10 or high rated school pyramid. If you're new to Fairfax County, all of the schools in the area are in a pyramid with the elementary schools at the bottom, then it matriculates to the middle school and then the high school at the top of the pyramid. Each of these schools is in a top rated, um, top 20, top 10 in the state pyramid um according to u.s news ratings so take a look at this video if you're interested in finding elementary school for you and your child just to let you know really quickly as i go through each school i'll let you know of course the name and location of the school i'll share with you the mission statement of that school because it may not be something you think about um, initially when you think what questions should I ask when I'm looking at a school but oftentimes the mission statement will give you insight into what the school's philosophy is about whether it be education extracurricular activities or even discipline so I want to go ahead and share the mission statement for each school with you um, there's also going to be the student to teacher ratio the math and reading proficiency rates um, free and reduced lunch rates as well as information about each of the programs available at the school um, and where, um, if they have a PTA or PTO and what you can expect from those organizations. Our first school is going to be Colvin Run and it's located in Vienna, Virginia. So the student population at Colvin Run is going to be 764 students enrolled with a student teacher ratio of 16.5 to 1. The school's mission statement is a community of compassionate honest, respectful, and responsible learners on the run to shape the future. Now, when it comes to math proficiency, they're gonna have a 97% proficiency rate and reading's gonna be at 94%. Free and reduced lunch at Colvin Run is gonna be at 1.3, excuse me, 1.31%, meaning that less than 2% of their students receive free or reduced lunch. Another thing I noticed uh, in doing this research is that a lot of the programs available as far as the curriculum at the schools is going to be pretty similar. So Colvin Run is an advanced academic placement level four center as a number of the other schools are as well. So really quickly, the AP programs in um, Fairfax County have different levels and level four is the full-time program and then there are two different types of level four services there's going to be the level four center and the level four program a level four center is actually going to be a school that has students from various schools in the neighborhood that are all in level four and they go to that school for full-time classes in advanced academic placement in the advanced academic placement program so say your student goes to a neighboring school and they do not have a level four uh, services at that school, then they could attend the local center for their neighborhood. And so Colvin Run is the center, uh, is one of the centers in Vienna. Now the difference between the center and the program is the program will actually, again, have students that are in full time in those classes, but it won't just have students who are advanced academic placement students. It will also have some stu students that are um, higher achieving students who maybe would not qualify to join the center. As I said, um, Colvin Run has a level four center. They also have a STEAM lab. If you're unfamiliar with STEAM, um, it's similar to STEM in that it is you know, science, technology, engineering, art, and also mathematics. So there's a STEAM lab at Colvin Run. They also offer Spanish FLES, which is foreign language at elementary schools. Um, a lot of schools in Fairfax County have no foreign language program at all. 
Cobra Run actually has the Spanish FLES program, and that's a program that helps students learn a world language through science and STEM curriculum. Um, and so that means that the foreign language is integrated into those curriculums. Um, and the program provides a language learning opportunity to all students um, at this school from K to six. And again, as I said, some schools do not even have any foreign language program at all, but a number of the schools on this uh, list offer either the foreign language and elementary school program or even a few immersion programs, which we'll cover a little bit later. There is a strings program at the school for grades three through six, as well as the environmental education program um, where they teach things about kids, things about like composting and waste management. And again, that's going to be for kids in grade through, grades K through six as well. Now there is a PTO at um, Colvin Run, which is a parent teacher organization, and they, they sponsor a number of different enrichment programs at the school each, um, each school year. And those are gonna be both before and after care programs. They vary year over year, so I'm not gonna go into details of what those programs are. So Churchill Road is the next school on our list and is located in McLean, Virginia. Churchill Road has about 760 students enrolled each school year. There were 763 enrolled in the 2018-2019 school year with a student-teacher ratio of 19 to 1. Their mission statement reads, Churchill Road School empowers our students to meet high academic standards, display exemplary citizenship, and promote global and social awareness of the world around them. The math and reading proficiency rates are both at 94%, and the number of students receiving free or reduced lunch is gonna be 1.83%. So again, another school with less than 2% of the students receiving free or reduced lunch. As I said before, a lot of the programs at the school is gonna be similar. So once again, this school has an advanced academic uh, placement center, so it has level four service center, meaning schools students who attend neighboring schools that don't offer level four services may attend. Uh, Churchill Road. It also offers the Spanish FLES program, which again incorporates the foreign language into the curriculum, both in um, science and other STEAM uh, related classes, science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. They also offer project-based learning and peer mediation. Haycock Elementary School is located in Falls Church. It's actually one of the largest schools on the list with 982 students with a student-teacher ratio of 19 to 1. Their mission statement is going to be a little bit longer, so bear with me for just a second. It reads, We believe that our role is to welcome every child and family into the school and work together with the family to prepare the child for a successful present and future. We try to put ourselves in the shoes of each student to, to the best of our abilities and do for the child what we would do if it were our very own. Our role is to make Haycock a united community and a home for learning. They are pretty good test scores with a math proficiency of 96% and a reading proficiency rate of 97%. Again, a rather low free and reduced lunch rate at 1.73%. And once again, we're seeing a lot of the same programs that we saw at the previous two schools, including the Spanish FLES program, and this school is also a level four advanced academic placement center. As with the other two schools, there's a parent-teacher organization, which is the PTA, and they offer a number of sponsored, uh, PTA-sponsored enrichment programs. You're watching this video because you're researching schools and probably buying a home in Northern Virginia. Well, home prices in this area are some of the highest in the country, and one way to save money is by using the Keller Mortgage Zero Plus Loan Program. For example, on the purchase of a $500,000 home, you can save up to $6,500. Keller Mortgage Zero Plus has zero lender fees, zero origination fees, zero underwriting fees, and zero processing fees when you work with a Keller Williams agent like me. And then there's the plus. On top of those savings, on all loan amounts over $150,000, you'll receive a $1,000 credit towards third-party closing costs and a competitive interest rate. Keller Mortgage offers conventional, FHA, VA, USDA, and jumbo loans. For more information, check out the link below in the description bar. King Mill is going to be our first school located in Springfield. Um, there are going to be 772 students enrolled, or roughly 772 students. Those are the numbers from the 2018-2019 school year. And their student-teacher ratio is going to be 20 to 1. Their mission statement is going to read that the Keene Mill staff is dedicated to nurturing creativity and innovation to enable all students to achieve future success. 
We provide a safe learning environment, set high expectations, and focus on the excellence and achievement of each individual learner. Math proficiency at the school is going to be 97%, reading proficiency 96%. The number of students receiving free and reduced lunch are going to be 18.39% of the students. So that I want to say that's going to be the highest on our list today. As far as programs at the school, they're also going to have the Spanish FLES program and they are a level four advanced academic placement learning center and they have a couple of additional programs available for students with disabilities. They do have a PTA at this school, but I did not find any information about what type of programs are available through the PTA. Next up, we have our second school located in McLean, and that's going to be Kent Garden. Now, I stand corrected. Kent Garden is actually lar larger than the last school we covered. It actually has 1,024 students enrolled with a student-teacher ratio of 20 to 1. The mission statement at Kent Garden is going to be that they operate as a professional learning community and use best practices to meet the educational needs, support essential life skills, and provide opportunities that encourage service learning for all students. We will ensure that Kent Garden Lions dare to be safe, responsible, and respectful as they work towards their limitless potential as independent learners and citizens. No surprise, as all of the schools in the area have higher test scores, they have both a reading and math proficiency of 94%. And once again, we're back to a lower free and reduced lunch rate of only 1.76% of the students receiving free or reduced lunch. This is our first school on the list that has the level four advanced placement program. Um, as I said, that means that in addition to having students who qualify for level four service, there'll also be some students in the class who are just higher achievers. They offer a language immersion program, um, and the language at the school is going to be French. And just to give you some insight into language, language immersion, all students in the school are not going to be enrolled in the immersion program. It's actually a countywide lottery program. So where a lot of the schools in Fairfax County, attending the school depends on, you know, if you live near the school. And that's absolutely, or you live within that school pyramid. And that's the case with Kent Garden. However, if you're interested in having your child enrolled in the immersion program, they will have to enter the countywide lottery for that. And in the immersion program, half the uh, subjects are taught in English and the other half of the subjects are taught in French. Now, if your child is not selected for that program, no worries because the school does offer the foreign language elementary school program, which again operates in like a STEAM curriculum and reinforcing the foreign language through that content. Um, and for this school, the foreign language is going to be French um, rather than Spanish like the schools we previously discussed. Another cool thing about the school is they offer monthly coffee talks with the principal and they also have a running club for girls which is called Girls on the Run. There are a number of PTA sponsored enrichment programs for before and after school and even some cultural arts programs um, year round provided by the PTA. Next up we have Mosby Woods located in Fairfax, again a larger school with 1,061 students enrolled each school year with a student teacher ratio of 16.1. So although this school is on the larger side, it does have a lower student to teacher ratio than some of the other schools we covered a little bit earlier. As far as math proficiency, they're at a 94% and reading proficiency, they're at 92%. A little bit higher free or reduced lunch rate here. It's actually going to be probably our highest in, the, in this video series. 23.19% of the students at Mosby Woods receive either free or reduced lunch. When it comes to programs available at the school, it is an academic level for Center for Advanced Placement. They have a student government program there that focuses on community service, mentoring, and tutoring with volunteers from the Oakton High School, which is at the top of the school pyramid for this uh, school. I Meaning if your child attends Mosby Woods, they will likely attend Oakton High School for grades nine through 12. And then they have a number of after school programs such as foreign language, math science, and the chess club, in addition to several PTA sponsored and richer programs. All right, we're gonna move on to Navy, another school located in Fairfax. There are about 1,000 students enrolled each school year and their student to teacher ratio is gonna be 17.5 to one. Their mission statement reads, we create in collaboration with parents a safe, nurturing, and supportive environment that enables our students to learn to their fullest potential. This community of trust enables all to accept our individual differences and to promote an integrated curriculum where students take pride in the ownership of learning, growth, and community. Math proficiency is going to be at a 96% and reading proficiency is going to be 93%. Number of students receiving free and reduced lunch are going to be just 3.96%. 
Once again, we're gonna see that Spanish Foreign Language and Elementary Schools program. It's also an advanced academic level four center. There's gonna be a student council association for students in the upper grades, Girls on the Run. There's also a student run club separate from Girls on the Run. And this school has a project-based learning program. Additionally, there is a PTO at the school that sponsors a number of different clubs, events, and activities throughout the school year. Next up, we have Sangster Elementary School located in Springfield, Virginia. Student population there is gonna be just under 1,000 students. In the 2018-2019 school year, they had 996 students with a student-teacher ratio of 18.1. Their mission statement is pretty simple. It's engage, inspire, thrive. Their math proficiency rating is at 92% and their reading proficiency is gonna be at 96%. Uh, just 3.1% of students receive free or reduced lunch. Again, another advanced academic levels for center. Again, we're gonna see that Spanish foreign language elementary school program that we've heard pretty much every school so far has had. Um, and again, watching this video, you would think all the schools in the area have the foreign language program, but that really is not the case. But maybe there is a correlation between the two. There's also gonna be a STEAM lab at the school. They have a special education model that provides a wide continuum of services. And then they also have a hand bells program. I mentioned that because a lot of the schools have uh, different music programs available to them, but this is actually the only school I've come across that offers hand bells as one of the music uh, courses. Next up, we have Spring Hill located in McLean, Virginia. Um, student population at the school is gonna be just over 1,000 students each school year with a student to teacher ratio of 18 to one. Their mission statement reads, modeling respect and integrity, increasing environmental involvement, supporting a safe learning atmosphere, instilling individual creativity, and nurturing each child's gifts. Their math proficiency is gonna be at 95% with reading proficiency at 97%. As far as students receiving free and reduced lunch, it's gonna be 4.53% of students receiving free or reduced lunch. They have a level four advanced placement program. They receive national recognition for their performance in Continental Math League, Science Olympiad, and Word Masters competitions. And they're also a partner for Read Across America. There are a number of PTO, uh, there are a number of PTO sponsored enrichment programs and cultural arts assemblies at the school as well. Lastly, we're gonna have West Briar Elementary School located in Vienna, Virginia. Student population is gonna be roughly 900 students each school year. In the 2018-2019 school year, they had 893 students with a student to teacher ratio of 16 to one. As far as math proficiency, there's a 96% rate and reading proficiency was 95%. Number of students receiving free or reduced lunch is gonna be 6.61%. And then when it comes to programs available at the school, they are an advanced academic uh, level four center. They have a school-wide character education program as well as the Girls on the Run uh, running program. There are a number of different PTA sponsored enrichment programs at this school as well. Thank you so much for watching. As I said, each of these schools is located in the top high school pyramid. Um, so in the Langley High School Pyramid, we have Coven Run, Churchill Road, and also Spring Hill. Haycock, as well as Kent Garden are gonna be in the McLean Pyramid. Mosleywood and Navy are both in the Oakton Pyramid. Keene Mill is gonna be in the West Springfield Pyramid. Sangster is in Lake Braddock. And lastly, West Briar is in the Marshall Pyramid. If you'd like more information about any of these elementary schools or even the high school pyramids I've mentioned, take a look down below at the link in the description bar. It is gonna take you to the Ask a Walker page for each of these schools. You'll find more information about what I talk about in this video, as well as more detailed information about the curriculum at the schools, information about the ratings and reviews for each individual school year. And you're also gonna find links to the most recent and current homes on the market, whether it be for rent or sale in the area. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.